We had a few questions just from my audience here uh, when we went to break, and I think it's really important that we address quite a few of them. There were a couple of fears. A lot of people initially asked me fear-based questions like, how do I charge more if everybody around me is charging the same amount of money? Um, I'm not interested in what other people charge. I don't sit there looking at what other people charge. I'm not spending my energy on studying the industry and what other people are charging for what they do. I know what I charge for what I do sits comfortably in my value set, and I'm more interested in marketing what I do to what I think I'm worth. I do not look at what other people think I'm worth, and I do not sit there and, and try and base what my value is on what I think other people are out there earning. I do not spend my time studying other people's businesses when I could be getting my own work because what's really important is that we're not spending the energy thinking there's not enough out there, everybody around me is charging 400 so I must charge 400. That is not the deal. If you offer a $2,000 service, you need to charge for a $2,000 service. That's really, really important. The other question I got asked is, what if I don't know what to charge? There is, a stu there is an international standard of what we charge. We're all very similar. The lower level of photographers coming in are charging between four and nine hundred dollars. The middle level are charging between nine and eighteen hundred dollars. The upper level are charging above the two thousand dollar mark and then there are a decided few that are in the three percent that are charging twelve, fifteen thousand dollars plus. You know what level you fit in based on the experience that you have but the idea is that we are all boats in a harbour and when the tide comes in if we all bring the level up we all come up together. So the idea is that we're honouring and valuing our craft and being paid for it and then pricing ourselves accordingly. This is when you go and get a mentor, when you go and pay to do a good workshop that's going to help you price out your studio or you get a business mentor or somebody that's going to come into your business for a day and set your price list, set your marketing goals, set your business goals and set you onto the right track. Do not get a business mentor that is not in the photographic industry. They will give you valuable, valuable sales advice and business advice, but they cannot advise you as to what is going on in our industry. Go and pay somebody to value, to learn the value of what you do so that you can set it in concrete and start working towards that. But it must be based on no fear-based thinking, no ideas of, I just don't know, what do I charge, everybody else is doing this. It tells me that you're spending all of your time looking at somebody else and not looking at yourself. That is a waste of energy.